Oh, look at that. A nice slow bite. <laughs> you zoom in on that. That's so funny. <laughs> He's one of the least aggressives that we've seen. That is hilarious. He's just going to take it. He knows it's already gone. Hey, what's up, you guys? It's Jace from Gen Z Reptiles, and today is feeding day here at Gen Z. So uh, basically what we're going to do is show you some of our frozen rodents that we're feeding off, and then we also got a couple of specialty items that's uh, chicks and hamsters. So uh, we're going to try those out, and not sure how they're going to work. Haven't tried them yet, but um, we're going to offer it to a few snakes, so we'll let you guys see that as well. Before we get too far into that, though, I just wanted to say we're posting every Thursday and Saturday at 12 p.m. Central. So make sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of our content. And if you end up enjoying the video, definitely leave us a like. That helps out the channel. Let's see some feeders, guys. So obviously, with a bunch of different sizes of snakes, we need different sized rodents. So basically, what I did is went ahead and separated um, these rodents out based on size and species. So bulk of our big females will be eating this size rat, and um, it's that medium-sized rat. We got about, uh, I want to say 15 in there, and um, we got some smalls here, and then here's the rat pups, so some of the younger snakes will be, the younger ball pythons eat those. Um, we have extra large mice, and some of our snakes just prefer that. Some of the, there's like two adult females that prefer that, and then some of the males just way prefer mice over rats. Up next, this is a few chicks. So we got five chicks in there, and these are the extra small chicks from Rodent Pro. And um, they're pretty decent size. I'd say comparable in size to these um, mice in terms of weight. Um, the, the feathers make them look a little bit bigger, but um, I know that some of the ball pythons out in the wild, especially males, will eat birds. Um, I think during the breeding season, I don't know if that's confirmed or if that's just theory at this point, but I know they do eat birds in the wild um, from time to time. And then over here, we've got the hamsters. And um, so we'll see, we'll see uh, what kind of a feeding response those evoke. But, um, and then yeah, the last we got pinkies. So we got a couple of African house snakes and uh, a Pac-Man frog that we'll be feeding today as well. So in addition to these frozen rodents, we also usually feed some live rats and then we also feed some African software. So we've got a few from our own African software colony that we'll feed off to any of the picky eaters and then um, you've frozen to hopefully the rest of them. But the next step here is we'll fill them all with water and I'm just gonna do that off camera and we'll be back when they're thawed out. All right, so basically what we do to thaw these out is um, we put them in hot water and we have to do a couple of water changes. So at this point we've done, um, I think about three water changes for each of these. And now they're sitting at, I wanna say the water's probably around 100 degrees or so. Um, and basically what we'll do now is we will take it out. We have our tongs with us. So this is uh, the big tongs for the bigger snakes and they'll actually start with some of the smaller snakes. And uh, hopefully get a good feeding response today. Um, maybe we'll readjust these lights and then uh, show you guys some feeding. All right, so basically what I'll do is I'll kind of wring it out over the water, dry it off on a paper towel, and we'll see if we've got some hungry snakes here. Um, usually with a little bit of prompting. We'll get a nice strike. That's what I like to see. We're gonna actually try the chicks next, and we're gonna try it on some of our adult males. So I don't know how, how uh, concrete this theory is, but I've seen, there's a, a one paper that I actually saw that said that male ball pythons will eat birds during the breeding season. So there's, there's a theory that basically they stop eating for us in captivity, but maybe it's because their diet changes during this time of year. And um, this has kind of been shown through um, a couple of people have collected fields, uh, field animals um, from trees, and people think that pythons might be semi, or the ball pythons, I should say, are semi arboreal. But um, especially the males, they will find them have, having um, eaten birds and being up in the trees during the breeding season time of year. And somebody extrapolated that to say maybe it's because they are saving the ground um, rodents for the females because the females can't really climb that well with eggs in their stomach, so maybe that's the reason why, but we'll see if this is uh, legit. I don't know if we'll even get a feeding response because a baby chick is not like anything they would smell in the wild. And plus, since they've been in this 
um, water it. The smell's probably a little bit dilute, but uh, we'll give it a try. No luck on the first one. All right, so it looks like that male theory is kind of a bust. None of them were interested. There could be a bunch of different factors going on. Could be too dilute of a smell. Um, maybe just a prey item they're not used to recognizing as a food item. Um, otherwise, it also could just be the lights and the camera. They're not used to this. And so that could be something that is um, affecting them. But this time of year, the males tend to be so-so uh, with feeding anyway. So we're actually going to try a couple of different snakes that we know um, usually have some strong feeding responses and see if they'll even take it. If not, then uh, the chicks will be a bus all, all around. But uh, yeah, let's give this a try. So it looks like our children's python actually went for it. Uh, she went for it like a champ. We'll go ahead and uh, let her be while she constricts this thing and takes it down. But um, that is super exciting. At least one of our snakes is interested in these. <laughs> so that was a super quick attack. That is our Doomrolls boa. <laughs> and she went crazy for it. She's not really doing the best job of constricting around it. I think she just realizes it's kind of a tiny prey item. But uh, we tried some of our other ball python girls and we just didn't have luck with that. So I figured I'd try boa out. All right, so it looks like we got another strong response from another boa. Um, <laughs> they seem to like these things a lot more than the bull pythons do. Okay, so we got our first ball so, python to take. Yep, yeah, that was our first ball python to take. This is an adult female, one of our normals, and she took that like a champ. All right, so we got another Doomerals boa that we're gonna try. So this one is actually a male. So maybe the males just aren't interested at all. <laughs> yeah, maybe there's something to that. Oh, maybe. This dude's kind of a weird feeder. Sometimes he'll be on a feeding frenzy and other times he'll just like... Snap. Yeah, he'll snap it right away. Other times too, he just, you leave it in there and he'll just go for it, so. Oh, look at that, a nice slow bite. <laughs> He's moving on that, that's so funny. <laughs> he's one of the least aggressives that we've seen. That is hilarious. He's just gonna take it. He knows it's already gone. All right, so the next thing we're gonna try is actually the other odd item that we ordered. And it is this hamster that we have four of them thought out. Uh, we'll see if we can get anything to feed on them. Um, but yeah, it's not really something they would encounter in the wild. So I don't have super high expectations for it, but it is another rodent and um, so We'll see, just like the chicks, we'll try them out and see what goes for it. That's a good strike. That's the first girl we got to take a hamster. Took it down like a beast. Like a boss. Ooh, another good strike. Oh yeah, <laughs> and another one. So this girl is also uh, one of our normals and she's actually another one of our good feeders. Um, the three that we've tried so far were actually, they've been good feeders so far. And uh, we wanted to save a little time. We're not gonna show all of the ones that we tried chicks for because a lot of them just didn't take them at all. But the first three ball pythons that we've actually offered these hamsters to have taken them like champs. So uh, yeah, hamster is definitely a lot better of a food item so far for our collection than the than the chicks. Maybe we're doing something a little bit wrong with the chicks. I'm not sure. Maybe they're just not used to the smell. And we wanted to end it with a boa. See if a boa would take a hamster. <laughs> and that kind of scared me. <laughs> yeah. Well, she definitely took. That is a BCI boa. 
And this girl is actually, we have, I don't think we've really showed her off yet, but she is a, just a normal, the wild type, but she's hat for the uh, sharp line of albino and also possible hat for anery. We also have another male that's a hypo, 100% hat, albino sharp, and then possible hat anery as well. So that's kind of the plan with her, but yeah, I guess I figured I'd introduce you to her and that beautiful, beautiful feeding response. Shuka shuka now. Shuka shuka now. <laughs> All right, so if you guys have ball pythons, you probably can imagine how the rest of this feeding went. We're gonna spare you some time. If we did, if we filmed everything, the whole process, you'll probably be looking at a 45 minute to an hour video kind of boring especially when we're just feeding typical stuff so we want to just show you some highlights and definitely focus in on those hamsters and those chicks and I thought it was pretty cool that we were able to feed them all off I, did, I had my doubts at some points especially when we first starting to feed those chicks but we found some snakes to eat those anyway I hope you guys enjoyed that that's all we really got for today so um, I'm just gonna say if you like the video please give us a thumbs up that helps us out if you want to see some other social media stuff that we have going on, we have a TikTok and an Instagram. So we'll have links to those down in the description below. And um, if you guys want to see another video of ours, you could click here. If you want to subscribe, go ahead and click right here. And we'll see you next time.